What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to Mega Arena today, sponsor in one of the most amazing free to play team based robot shooters of all time. Perfect casual fun paired with skill based competitive play. Use my QR code on screen or the links down below to kickstart your play with this exclusive power pack on top. As promised in a recent video, today I want to show you the new Gatecrasher robot fully maxed, also with an almost maxed Graviton beam twice. It's an incredibly beastie boy setup with the potential of imploding enemies all the freaking time. It gets so funny and powerful, it's unbelievable how much firepower this setup has. Just see how fast I fill up the implosion meter on the enemy because I'm firing with double Graviton beam and when they implode they just take an absolute absolute outrageous amount of damage and it just ends up being so funny because the gate crasher has a lot of health it's a very tanky robot and it's not easy to get this guy destroyed look I'm even having a bit of cover in front of me and I'm getting this guy out of uh, this world basically completely banned him from life <laughs> and uh, the ion pod ability that the gate crasher has also is very funny you can place it on the ground and make an a area effect explosion such as you have seen right here that uh, it deals not just damage to the guy that's standing there, but also to everybody around it in a relatively large area radius when you have the, uh, you know, the uh, pilot implants to make it larger. Uh, it's crazy. And you have so much firepower with these lasers that seem to never have to reload and can basically... I think these weapons offer among the highest damage output of all weapons in game if you can continuously fire at enemies. Uh, because uh, they, they may require a little time to reload, but depleting them to zero really takes time and you can destroy the entire team two or three times over before that happens, I think. Uh, I mean, just look at this. Look at this. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> it's so much fun to implode them all one by one. And also, even if they hide behind some kind of wall or like a force field or some cover I could just hammer in the uh, the ion pot ability and it will dig him out because the ion pot I, I launched it into the wall there and uh, it didn't work this time because it's too or far away the enemy robot from my impact point uh, but if there's just a smaller wall like a force field or a little thin uh, cover then it will launch a laser on the other side of it that sticks out of the wall on the other side like here you see this guy I killed him through the barrier from the panther shield and it just was in near instant kill uh, it's so insane the combination of these graviton beam with the constant imploding um, I was gonna say explosion but it's exactly Exactly the opposite it's an implosion uh, and then the you know explosion from the ion pot it just set, makes such a fun thing and uh, I've taken so much damage so many enemies have shot have shot me already but I'm still here because like I said this is an incredibly tanky setup that takes a tremendous amount of effort to take down uh, because uh, fully max it has so much HP um, and uh, also I I think, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think certain robots have more armor and therefore are less likely to be taken or hit critically by other shots unless you really come from behind. But um, I think certain robots are considered light and armored or lighter and take more damage from shot. This is something though, if you're an expert, let me know if I might be wrong with this, but I felt like this is what I've learned over the time. See, I'm still imploding enemies here from afar, dude. And I've made this entire battle with this one gate crasher, gotten an easy MVP, no problem, with 16 kills and 1 million damage. 63% team damage. Available for your mobile devices and PC, Mech Arena offers a ridiculous amount of awesome robots with their unique abilities, a huge arsenal of weapons, and thousands of ways to customize your robots to your exact playstyle. Not just with gameplay defining elements such as weapons, but also with skins. Jump into amazing 5v5 control point capture or 5v5 or 2v2 death matches, events, tournaments and so much more. And you can do all of that either solo or with your friends together as teammates. Alright, back into the next match ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin with a quick kill and a perfectly hit ion pod. Boom! There goes the enemy over in the distance. I got a couple of hits, but I still have 116,000 HP. Uh, the these uh, rockets can't hit me because I'm under a bridge or cover, thankfully, because uh, they actually do a lot of damage uh, and I don't like them. Uh, but yeah, here I'm relatively safe, only direct fire can hit me uh, and uh, I can just direct fire back with a lot of firepower. Look, I'm placing the shot on the wall and Voots, he walks in and he takes 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000 damage uh, from uh, the laser that was sticking through the wall there, I think. 
if I saw this correctly. Uh, or it was my lasers. I'm not quite sure which one connected here, but I always try this. See, I'm always trying to shoot and place my ion pot through the wall so that the guys behind the wall get this initial super high explosion that almost one hits them. And if that doesn't happen, they still can take the overtime effect from the laser sticking out. There it was, 42,000 damage, and uh, this guy got halved on his HP pool because he was standing close to my explosion coming out of the other side. Because that's something I haven't told you yet, the initial moment when it sticks out of the wall, if you're there then at that moment, you get an instant super high explosion damage coming at you. So it's really an absolutely fun setup to play with. And uh, I, 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 I find myself logging into Mega Arena all the time now just to play the setup because it's just so much fun. Um, is it uh, crazy? Is it maybe overpowered? I mean, this is something we could think about too, right? Some setups that are new could be overpowered. The gate crash has a lot of HP, uh, but I also find myself getting sniped very often, very quickly. In fact, there was one situation, I'm not sure which weapon the enemy was using. I think it was this EM something laser, and it makes like a little tiny laser beam and then boom, hits you so hard with it. And uh, he he pretty much one-shotted my full uh, full uh, robot here. Um, the gate crasher with all its HP I got almost one-shotted so there seem to be other weapons with tremendous performance as well and the laser still takes some time to deliver its damage so you can argue it's not really overpowered uh, only unless you don't care about this setup if you just let this guy stand on the map and you just let him absolutely hammer into the team the whole time and you don't do anything about it you don't snipe him back or something then I think this setup will come out on top with terms of damage I think so I think on the long run it would easily outperform, for example, this EM sniper rifle uh, weapon or some other snipers as well because the constant continuous maintained or whatever damage output, uh, sustained, the sustained damage output, that's the professional gaming word, uh, is so much higher I think from this weapon. Um, but you, and I think that's the that's the drawback is you need your time to del to dish out this damage, right? You need enemies to stand in your line of fire for a significant amount of time. Um, let's say three seconds. Here he's hiding behind the shield, and bam! There you go. There is no hiding behind a panther shield when I'm playing the gate crasher, friend, because that will get you absolutely deleted. It's so fun to have this option to ignore or to actually not just ignore, but to use this against them. They feel safe behind that shield and most of the time they don't even realize what what the gate crasher can do against this part of uh, defense or this this art of uh, this playstyle, right? Oh man, I love it. <laughs> Such a fun combination. Uh, one of my most, no, actually it is the most fun setup. Whenever I lock into Mech Arena, this is what I play now. <laughs> it's so fun. And then obviously once I got destroyed, which happens most of the time, what you see here are the highlights, right? Um, I'm cutting together the most amazing gameplay situations I had with it because I wanted to show you what this thing can do in the perfect situations. But uh, let me just tell you, not all situations look like this and I got situations where I got sniped or shot by two guys or got the javelin rack on my face or whatever I did. I just, I just got myself killed so many times and destroyed so quickly, right? So not everything looks and works this perfectly with it, but um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy providing you with highlights that are fun to watch. And these were most definitely my awesome, most amazing highlights. Here, my little kill shot. Uh, I still like him, uh, especially for beacon grabbing in the beginning of a match or something, but I think I really need to level him up further because those 39,000 HP, it, seemed, it sounds like like it's not that little but consider I think this is one of those instances where the robot is considered lightly armored because it seems like I take more damage with it too I, I could be wrong, but it really feels like every hit I take on the kill shot also deals more um, damage to me than it would be on, for example, the heavily armored brick house. This month we also have the Battle Pass Season 14 running with amazing goodies and prices, so if you're waiting for an invitation, this is the one. Because Mech Arena is completely free to play on Android, iOS and PC, use my QR code on screen and the links down below to kickstart your play with this awesome startup pack worth $30 on top, a special skin, an amateur crate and 5,000 credits and then come find me in the game under the name Just The Money.